okay welcome to my channel once again if you are new to this channel please try and subscribe to this channel so that when next time I make video you'll be the first to be notified my name is Ajay Crypto okay welcome in this video you are going to learn two things how to trade on Binance P2P and at the same time trade on sports markets okay with much I do let us move straight to the point so you can actually use your home page when you come to your home page you can go to this place trade on p2p click on p2p trade it will actually take you to p2p or you come to you come to trade once you come to trade it will also take you to p2p look at it up here you click on okay now it will just open let's assume i want to pay in ten thousand naira i click buy with zero fee then the price is what 738 i say purchase make purchase it will now bring out the person whom you are going to buy from then you click on this place that says make payment you click on this place that says make payments the person i'm buying from is ike chuko somebody ike my phone then i can click his bank is spam pay just click on it it will now bring out the bank details just scroll up a little copy the bank account number you copy the bank details hmm? once you copy the account number now move straight to your words move straight to your bank and make payment after making payment after making payment to this account number return back and click transferred notify seller do you understand what i mean you click on transferred notify seller i repeat again after making payment to this bank detail depending on the person that pops up you click on what transferred once you click on transferred Binance immediately will lock up that person's USDT once the person receives your money the amount of them uh, the amount will be transferred to you in your account the amount will be transferred in your account but not in your spot wallet the amount will not be transferred in your spot wallet rather the money will be in your funding wallet so let's move so that you know what you do next to get the money to be in your fund in your from your funding wallet to your spot wallet remember i want to repeat this again after making payment to the person after making payment here through the bank detail that is provided to you make sure you click here Hmm? make sure you click here you click you have transferred so if you want to go back you go back now haven't click you that that you have made payment haven't clicked that you have made payment I'm canceling this order because I don't want to trade haven't done this all you need to do is to go back go back to your Binance account scroll back now click on wallet after the person after binance have popped up with message that the money has been received just come to wallet once you click on wallet for you to see the money that has been transferred to you you go to where funding wallet you go to where funding wallet you click on funding wallet once you click on funding wallet you want to withdraw the money you can see what is in the funding wallet fifty dollar fifty dollar let's assume i bought now and fifty dollar is what is here because that's um, um, the money that you bought through or the usdt that you bought through binance p2p will not go to your spot trading wallet rather it will be in your funding wallet so you got to transfer it from funding wallet now from funding wallet to spot wallet and how do you do this you come to transfer look at transfer here you can see transfer you can see transfer so once you click on that transfer just click on transfer 
what we are actually transferring is not bitcoin i hope you are listening it is not bitcoin because what you bought is usdt so all you got to do now is to click on that then you select the token you can see what you are transferring is usdt you now click on usdt now this toggling sign is what changes if the money you can see is a from funding to spot so you can actually click on it it will now rotate if you want to send money from spot to funding because when you want to actually sell you and uh, if the money is in your spot wallet you can now come to this toggling sign click on it so you are pulling the money out from spot wallet to funding wallet but now we are actually sending from from funding to spot so i will click on it funding will be up why spot will be down so what will i do next if i want to send 25 or 10 dollar i will type 10 dollar here if it's 10 dollar i want to transfer but if i want to transfer all of them i will click on max i click on max you can see that 50 dollar is here so i will now click confirm just wait it's a transfer success for you can see the money has left the funding wallet now for me to confirm that the money has left the funding wallet all i need to do is to click on spot wallet click on spot so you can see that the money has actually come to spot wallet you see the money has actually come to spot wallet so if i also want to send it back to funding wallet what i will now do is to click on funding then click transfer then i click on this btc and change it to usdt now funding is up I'll, I'll, the money is where it's in spots i will now click here then send the money from where from spot to funding so i will now click come to max and click max you can see that money that is in funding in spot wallet i want to transfer it to uh, funding funding wallet so once i click confirm the deal is done so that is how you can actually trade on p2p and transfer it from funding wallet to spot wallet from spot wallet to funding wallet now let's get to the next aspect of the video the next aspect of the video you have to use your backspace the next aspect of the video is the market how to trade on spot market spot market is what is actually happening in the market spot when you hear the word spot so now you can see we have home we have market we have trade we have features and wallet so wallet is where we actually store our our money wallet is where we actually store our money so now what are we going to do what are we to do so what we are now going to do is to make sure that we use what we we'll go to the market. This is the market. Here is the market. So in this market now, what are we to do? We are going to click. We are not going to features market. Rather, we are going to spot market. So in this spot market, we have we look at spot now we have what we call busd market that means you can if busd is what you have that is binary us dollar is what you have in your account you can actually use busd to purchase bitcoin you can actually use it to purchase ethereum usdt see luna classic luna xrp bnb and so on and so forth so the market is classified according to the um, uh, the type of money you use just as you're traveling to china you must have yuan to exchange so if you have us dollar you can now you exchange it so here is an exchange market so if you have a busd you can actually exchange busd to btc that is what this place means now we also have usdt hmm? we have usdt market so you remember what i bought was usdt which i transferred from funding wallet to where to spot wallet 
please pay attention to this it's very simple now on this usdt market we also have a bnb market like let's assume i click on bnb now if bnb that is binance coin is what i have i can actually exchange binance coin to srp to trs cake ada gala and so on and so forth what if i have btc so i can actually use my bitcoin to buy ethereum buy xrp buy snt and any type of coin that is pegged to where or paired to btc i can buy it another one is the one we call the altcoin hmm? altcoin any coin that is not btc so that means i can actually use ethereum to purchase any of this token here so we also have the one we call fiat when we talk about fiat fiat represents the ish currencies that are issued by the government of different countries so you can see australian dollar you can see beard binary euro great britain pounds ruby and uh, so on and so forth so but here today we want to try to transport the money i have that i actually purchased from um, p2p market is what usdt so i'm going to come to usdt market i click on usdt market now you can see the market how up and down they are i have btc btc is nineteen thousand eighty two dollars today it's losing how much 0 0.0807 you see how it fluctuates we also have ethereum ethereum is one thousand two hundred eighty three dollars we have a busd which is one dollar we have srp 47 cents and it's losing how much it's losing some amount we have luna classic which is two two dollar seventy one cent is making five five percent today yes so that is exactly what luna classic is making so now i want to trade on sports for those who do not know how to trade on sport this is actually what it means to trade on spot now assuming i'm giving a signal to trade on spot i'm i'm told that xrp we hit we hit uh, ten dollars mm, xrp sorry my dear xrp we hit uh, 60 cent mm? this is xrp we hit, we hit 60 cent so i now look at it also okay it's losing 3.40 percent okay let me say i want to buy xrp i click on xrp it now brings me to the dashboard it now brings me to the dashboard so once it takes me to the dashboard you can see i'm using you look at the technicality first these candles these candles you are seeing they are not just ordinary thing but rather they are actually telling us what is happening in the market uh -huh. what is happening in the market so you can actually use time timing is very very important in this market you can see we have 15 minutes we have one hour we have four hours we have daily so in the next video i will also be teaching us technical analysis how you can actually use candlestick and the uh, price action to actually determine where the market is going so this trade now is on 15 minutes so everything all the candles you are seeing here actually represents the activities that happens within 15 minutes period so now i can see that xrp is going down is down so in 15 minutes uh, srp is down and uh, i'm looking at it hitting this point hitting 49 cents 49 cents and going above this place so now i will now buy say buy xrp i will just click buy xrp once i click on buy xrp is you can see my money here 74 dollars that is the amount of money i have 74 dollars so how do i buy now under that buy you can see buy you can as well see sell that means you can actually buy and sell you can actually buy and sell so for those who do not understand this is how you can do it you can actually buy and sell so now we are on the buy make sure it's on the buy now I'm looking at XRP, XRP, the actual market price. Now, this is the actual market price, hmm? 0.47 cents. 
you can see it that is the actual market price of xrp is 0.47 cents now i want to buy xrp first of all i'm starting with teaching you on limit look at here if you hit this button you will see about four different things we have limit we have market stop limit wrangling and oco order cancel order but we are looking at the limit order we are looking at the limit order you want to buy on limit this buying on limit means that you can see orders some are higher some are lesser you can see 0 0.4715 this one 0 0.4716 which order do you think that will be filled first yes the lesser order hmm? uh -huh. before the higher order once these ones are filled okay you can see the the order is going higher and higher uh, yes so oh, let's assume i want to buy xrp at 0 0.4715 i will now come to this place that is blinking i place 0 0.4715 that means my order will not instantly execute until price come to what 0 0.4715 so as it is now the actual market price also consider the actual market price i will have to resist reduce it okay let me say 0 0.1212 okay uh, uh, this is the the okay market price is also shooting down okay let me still bring it down to 0 0.09 because price is coming down so i want to buy on limit i don't want to buy at the actual market price it's still market is coming down so now assuming that i say let me buy xrp and i want to buy with i have 74 dollars you can see 25 percent you can see 50 percent you can see 75 percent 100 percent so i want to use 50 percent of my total money which is 74 dollars to buy xrp at limit of 0 0.47 cents now i will just buy xrp hmm? i will just buy click 50 percent xrp that i'm purchasing at where at 0 0.4709 i will now click buy xrp okay immediately i buy you remember i told you that your order will not be instantly executed because it is lower to the market price until the order is filled you can see i have bought because price has hit what that's zero point uh, 0 0.07 0 0.09 now i can also actually sell the srp immediately because if i sell now i'm making two cents i can sell the xrp now right now because i bought at 0 0.04709 so i can actually sell the whole of the xrp now uh, i come to what will i do now if i want to use market order market order is instant execution but limit order let's assume i place my sell limit say if xrp hits hit uh, um hit uh, 414 that the market should sell immediately for me you can see once xrp hits this market price i say sell the hundred percent xrp that i bought i will say sell okay okay that is exactly what i'm supposed to do Okay. just be patient you can see my xrp is here so i want to sell this some um, srp now which is 77 yeah i go to yes the t market i want to sell my srp i want to sell it you can see 77.9922 xrp i want to sell it at what price i want to sell it when srp hit four seven one one i will not place 
a pending order i will say that it should sell 100 percent of the xrp it should sell 100 percent of the xrp i will not place so you can see that it has come to the order is here the order is here it's on is the sell limit is at zero because xrp price is still 0 0.472 so once price hits uh, 0 0.0 0 0.4714 which is my price or 11 then the xrp will be executed the, it will sell automatically and drop the money where in my usdt back in my usdt back so that is how to buy and sell on what limits so i can actually cancel the trade too i can actually cancel the trade if I'm also trade uh, as I have uh, this li uh, limit order, I can actually cancel the trade. So you can see, you can see cancel here. I can actually cancel the trade here. Now, another thing you can actually envision here, uh, we just talked about uh, uh, selling on limit and buying on limit. Now, SRP has come to 47 for 0.4702. So I still have USDT, $37. So I can actually still buy. But this time around, I want to buy using what? Market order. That is instant execution. Market order, instant execution. I don't want to wait until XRP hit a listing. So I just click market order. Then I want to buy XRP using 50% or let's say, let's say 100 percent of the amount of money i have i want to use it and buy xrp so you can see that once i click buy it will instantly execute yes i have bought xrp successfully so how do i know that i have bought xrp successfully i will come to my wallet you can see that i now have xrp um 157 xrp and one is still on pending what order one is still on pending order until price hits that level until price hits that level my xrp will not do what sell you can see that price is still coming lower and lower and lower i'm actually losing 3.5 percent of srp so and i believe that price might likely move up again and hit my level that I bought and once price hits that level that I bought that is how I sell so this is exactly how you can actually apply the signal or, or, or once you are being given a signal that a, a particular token or how you can actually trade on the spot market and one of the reasons why you trade on spot market is that spot market you don't actually lose your money because you in this case own the asset on the asset you look at the appreciation of the asset so this is exactly how you can actually trade on the what spot market buy and sell on spot market please if you don't understand please uh, watch the video watch it over and over again and you will understand uh, the things i have explained here yes for repetitive purpose let me just give you a revision of what i just said here now this is market order you can actually change it to limit when you want to buy on limit because why we will buy on limit is that if we envision that the market is still going down then you can put your pending order you put a pending order that you want to buy when srp hits 0 0.456 so if price hits that level the, the price will execute then you can now buy on limit you can see now i put a, also a sell limit that once price hits this level of 0 0.4711 that they should sell my xrp and i should be making how much i should be making about uh, four cents per xrp that i bought and you can see now that the price has started tilting up the last one i bought was uh, 0 0.4702 yes so uh, that is exactly how you can actually trade from P2P to spot trading. So watch this video down to the end and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you in another video.